Welcome to the final group game of the EPFA Four Nations 2023. Scheduled for 11.40, Austria will take on Switzerland. Myself and Greg just had the pleasure of commentating on the game between Italy and Germany, which ended 1-0 to Germany, booking their spot in the final of this competition. Italy would need Switzerland to secure either a draw or win in this game. Let's go through the squads quickly. Start with Austria, our designated home team. Number one, Arta Volman. Number two, Winfried Zwanziger. Number four, Carolina, Carolina Consoji. Number five, Moritz Ziegner. Number six, Jakob Schrieffel, who is suspended for this game, so won't be present following that red card against Italy yesterday afternoon. Number eight, Michael Kiefler. Number 10, Ilias Usic. Number 11, Henry Ziegner, their coach, Leo Vasili. My good friend, Greg Baxter, will run through the Swiss starting team or squad. As we mentioned yesterday, only the four players for this Swiss side. Number one, Gwendol Duplass. Eight, Gabriele Panico. Nine, Christoph Lopez. And 14, Emmanuel Latz. Their coaches, Giovanni Bernabe, assisted by Kelly Dos Santos. So you can see the table present on your screens and a win for Austria would take them on to five points, uh, surpassing the Italians in the table. And our final would be contested between Germany and Austria. Never say never though in power chair football. Switzerland, no doubt, went away following a difficult day yesterday and had their discussions and it'll be interesting to see if they have a different approach to their final group game. A win for Switzerland would see them surpass Austria in the table, so we will see. You can see the animated Leo Vasili on your screens. Once the starting four are confirmed for Austria. We will bring you that information. The equation is pretty simple. Welcome to win and you're in territory for Austria. That is the objective. And while they want to perhaps put in a good performance to boost their confidence ahead of supposed final should they win and get there they will quite happily take a win however it comes in this fixture completely uh, they will want to uh, get their shooting boots on so to speak ahead of a potential final this afternoon so no doubt they'll experiment and trial different players and tactics Maybe a similar one that they would adopt hypothetically against Germany should they progress. So interesting to see, as we mentioned, without their captain, uh, Jakob Schrieffel, probably arguably one of their most talented players, was very aggressive in that Italian game yesterday. Two yellow cards from Nordin Subovic uh, left him no choice but to be sent off. One match suspension, so would be back for a potential final this afternoon at quarter to four Central, Euro Central European summer time. I don't think that um, while well, Jakob Trifel is obviously a key player for the Austrians, number one, Arte Volman did start the first yeah, game. Their first game against Germany, Germany yesterday, mm. uh, while Jakob Trifel's chair was not eligible to play, and he proved very capable. <laughs> I'm not sure we're necessarily in a position to kind of dictate how we think teams should line up or who should they who they should play but I think we've seen just from the small snippets of Austria uh, that they have a strong squad uh, 
and we've we've explored uh, a number of ways we think that they can line up to best capitalise and secure the points. Um, but Austria. let's get that table up again because I d I, I'm sure you'll agree, Greg, the two points that they've secured across their two fixtures so far do not uh, do their performances justice um, no. at all. No, not that, so that nil nil yesterday with Italy um, doesn't do it justice. They played some really nice football and they just had to make sure obviously with that sending off for Shreveport that they saw out the nil-nil at the end. Yeah, I think that they were really fortunate that the game between Germany and Italy a short while ago was actually won by either side. It was won by Germany, but a draw within that game would have meant Austria would have needed to secure a seven-goal margin, seven-goal win within this game. Pressure off within that respect, but they won't want to get complacent. They'll want to... Uh, take the game to Switzerland uh, they'll want to get this game underway as soon as possible get that probably an early goal just settle any nerves that there might be and then they can build from there So our match officials for this game looks like Millie Bean will centre with assistant referees of Carolyn Bean and Gerrit Weiland. Just bring in the captains in Emmanuel Ratz and Ilias Usic to exchange commemorative shields. And a bag of something. Swiss chocolate. Very oh. nice. Can I start playing for Austria now? I want some, I want some Swiss chocolate. So, we're all ready to go in this final group game. The third place playoff scheduled for two o'clock, followed by a quarter to four final. That will be followed by an on-site award ceremony. So, Austria have lined up so we can go through that exact starting four in goal or certainly the, mo the most uh, defensive of their four players the number two Winfried Zwanziger Arta Volman in the centre adorning the bright yellow goalkeeper jersey with wingers of Karolina Songai and Ilias Usic as we await referee Mini Beans whistle to get this game underway just need to adjust post or far right hand side. As the Star Wars Cantina music plays out in the court. We're not quite in a galaxy far, far away. Millie Beam blows her whistle to kick off proceedings in the final group game of the EPFA Four Nations 2023 between Austria and Switzerland. Austria shooting from left to right in the white kit their goalkeeper in the bright yellow Switzerland in red shooting from left to right their goalkeeper in green Carolina Songai immediately scores within 24 seconds really difficult start to this game Christoph Lopez there on the goal line looked Almost stuck in the mud for a minute as that ball, this great little front bump pick off from Ilias Usic. Let's Just get in the, uh, front of uh, Emmanuel Ratz, the Swiss keeper. An easy finish for Carolina Songai. Just a front bumper it. You can see that. what that does to the table. Austria surpass Italy into second spot. So as it stands, they will be one of the two teams present in the EPFA Four Nations final as Ilyas Usic tests Christoph Lopez and a really unfortunate deflection once again falls to Carolina Songai at the right hand side of the Switzerland box and she doubles Austria's and her own advantage within a minute and a half this could be a long game for Switzerland Austria two. 
Switzerland nil. What an effort that was from Ilias Usage. He wound that up. Just unleashed a strike that had to be saved by Christoph Lopez. And good following in by Karolina Sanga. And here they go again. Usage. Just relentless. Into the centre. Arta Volman. Fired into the box. Carolina Songai finds a hat trick within three minutes. Carbon copy of that, that of the first and second finish. And this could be an emphatic scoreline. Uh, is this, is right, is this going to be a moment of history? That's got to be the fastest international hat trick. Hat -trick. Fastest international, international hat trick we've ever had. Uh, certainly with regards to it being at the start of a game. I don't know if throughout the game within that time span. Uh, it's been done in similar but very impressive from Carolina Songai and I'd I was going to question why Henry Ziegner wasn't featuring from the start uh, obviously classification plays a, a huge considerable factor into that selection but um, Carolina Songai really impressive in the opening two and a half minutes and I'd like to know how many actual in-game seconds that was because the ball didn't just be in play for a very long well as it, it appears on the, on paper she scored in minute one two and three so but obviously I think it was just just over two minutes when she registered her third and hat-trick Gwendol Del Plas with the Kick in on the far hand side. Emmanuel Ratt very close, has to drop off slightly, otherwise, surely a two on one if Carolina Songai manages to intercept, uh, which he looks primed to do. Garrett Violin just ushering the winger away to give Del Plas that five metres needed. Again, they're very close to one another. Del Plas rooted to the spot. Songai capitalising on the advantage. Allowed by referee Millie Beans. She wants gonna want to try and get round the right hand side of the ball. Flicks it centrally. Met by Emmanuel Ratz. Ilias Usic now. Back to Arta Volman. Rotated spin kick fire towards the goal. Nearly another pick-off from Songai. The Austrian number four. Arta Volman. Good block by Del Plas. Zvanziger, first involvement of this game. To Austria they're going for four up look at this Volman pick off great pass over to Songai onto the edge Ilyas Yushits with an opportunity and oh. fired towards the goal it actually ended up going to Songai on the left hand wing that would have been a fantastic team goal now, if that had gone in that would surely have been team goal of yeah. the tournament. that was look at this four out play from Austria Zanziga very very advanced with that pick off Volman lets that go to his captain 182 Volman back to Songai hits the post Volman's going to guide it over the line met by Christoph Lopez two on one you preempted that one Ooh. too early slight bit of respite brilliant for the Switzerland defence but really well picked out passes from the four flowing attacking players of Austria but it remains Austria three Switzerland nil that was a great save by Christoph Lopez there. I mean, you definitely thought that was going in. I did. I did. From this angle, uh, it looked like it was a certain goal. But full credit to the Switzerland number nine, Christoph Lopez. Wasn't one of the competing players in Geneva last year. So I think it may be his first ever outing it within international football. Emmanuel Ratz asking for five metres. I think Usic... Is spaced accordingly, who intercepts Del Plas, guides it back to his defence, met by Carolina Songai, going to try and flick it back to in the path of Arta Volman. Volman over to Ilias Uses, another 180, fired into the gap. Beautiful goal from the Austrian captain, Lopez and Emmanuel Ratz try to limit that space and the gap between the two chairs, but Usic thread the eye of the needle there. And what a beautiful goal from the Austrian number 10. Confirmation on your screens now. Austria 4, Switzerland 0. Just have a look what that does for the goal difference on the table. 
puts them on to plus four. Having drawn both their fixtures yesterday, kind of puts into perspective how impressive Germany's goal difference is. Plus 14 goals. Um, how, um, I'm just thinking out there, obviously going for the goal difference, how aware do you think Austria are of the standings? Do you think they're still in the mindset of we need to score a certain amount of goals? The way, the way they've suddenly no. decided to play four out? No, I think they're very much aware uh, of their uh, position in the table. They've, they've all but guaranteed them themselves the spot in the effort Four Nations final, but uh, they're going to want to get their shooting boots prepared for that match against Germany. Songhai at the back post, just as I'm talking about them, uh, practicing that free-flowing attacking football. I don't think they'd be able to adopt such a brave approach against the Germans, uh, but there's no reason this doesn't help or aid their, uh, their setup and their... Uh, preparation for that game so Carolina Songai she's making a she's making a break for the top goal she scorer. certainly is I need to see if my updated scorer chart uh, can be shown on screen uh, but four goals there uh, already in the first eight minutes of this game let's put the top goal scorers up very quickly she goes up to third in the standing so any more she will meet match the two Two on one there, given against the Swiss. Free kick just inside the Austrian half. He just guides it inside, carrying the song guy. Dami's Emmanuel Ratz. Met by Gustav Lopez. And has a goal kick. to Switzerland. Emmanuel Ratz will take, looking for Gabriela Panico on this near side to the camera as you look at it. Straight to Ilyas Jucic. Be another goal kick. Apologies if you cannot see the score line. We've had just under 10 minutes. Austria 5. Switzerland 0. Austria readying a substitution. Usic. Crucial block by Panico. Winfried Zwanziger is going to be substituted off in his place. Not sure. First if appearance. I think I don't think Moritz Ziegner featured uh, in their game yesterday. He wasn't one of the the players in Geneva last year. So if this is his full international debut, full credit and congratulations to Moritz Ziegner. You should have confirmation of that on your screen now. As Songai has another attempt at goal, seeking her fifth of the game and overall competition. Vaughan, great advantage for turn one. Which we call back now. Gwendal, the Platz, and Christoph Lopez. Just too close to each other. Great opportunity for Austria to extend their lead here in this first half. Ilyas Usic on this left-hand side. Maybe the ball be played behind him. Try and wind up for 180. Goes with the side spin 90. Shot from Songai, saved by Lopez on the line. 
Roman. The ball breaks, but it'll be another two on one. Lopez and the Platz too close yet again. You can see just setting up that Swiss defence. Ilya Susic will now take his free kick. Art of Volman on this left hand side. Into Volman. Sanga at the back post. Well cleared by Christoph Lopez. So Carolina Songai on the right hand wing. There is another goal for Austria, extending their lead. 6-0 now. And that is the fifth goal for Kalina Songa, and she does indeed go joint top of our top goal scorer list yep. here at the Epa Four Nations tournament and there's plenty of time for her to try and get a lead ahead of what now looks like a German Austrian final so not only potentially could the deciding to that top goal scorer be decided in that final later this afternoon but obviously, one side out of Germany and, like I said, barring a miracle, Austria will be crowned champions of the Epa 4 Nation 2023. There's Gabriele Panico, battles with Arthur Volman. Panico tries to drive that away, try and get his side some respite. Barely got out of their own half, the Swiss. Yeah, difficult opening 14 for the Swiss national side. Heavy contact there between Panico and Arta Volman. Goes in the favour of the Austrian. Um, don't think anything more will be given. Just get the Swiss coaches over to make a slight adjustment with the chair of the Swiss number eight. I believe it's a metal bin we are now making musical and a musical instrument. Mm. Just uh, a lot of attention needed for Gabriele Panico's chair. Would require some added time. At the end of this first half, the first half which Austria have absolutely dominated. Those three goals in the first two minutes Carolina Songo really setting the pace and as you can see that does move Austria above Italy and into second place where they will compete with Germany in that final it does seem like Gabriele Panico is okay to continue just getting a warning there for the heavy contact and we will restart with a direct free kick yeah. For Austria. Arta Volman and Ilias Usic both positioned over the ball. Ilias Usic just dropping off now to, to allow his goalkeeper to take this direct free kick, as you just mentioned, Greg. Just a piece of uh, one of the chairs falling off in that contact. Just a pause in play momentarily from our referee, Millie Bean. Fair couple of minutes added on at the end of this half you would imagine yeah apologies that the uh the clock on your streams is incorrect we've had 
just over 16 and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes remaining, plus any additional time. So Arta Volman now takes that direct free kick. Elias Usic in all sorts of space in the middle. Found to Songa at the back post. Cross the face of goal. Little Ilyas Usic, the Austrian captain, could do to capitalise on that ball. But I think, oh, I'm going to benefit the doubt to the song guy there. For Usage should continue, rather than admiring the pass, maybe just made that run to that post and yeah. the easy tap in. Yeah, I don't necessarily disagree, but I assumed with how the game is set up and her five goals so far, I thought she would attempt an effort on goal. Usage intercepts well. Lopez called into defensive duties. Just trying to get that understanding with Manuel Rat and Carolina Songai her scores sixth. her sixth of the game. Huge credit to her. And that puts her top of the scorer charts. Apologies that her name is also misspelled on your screens. We will strive to address that as soon as possible. 18 minutes gone. Austria 7, Switzerland nil in this final group game of the EPFA Four Nations 2023. Um, it's all but confirmed that our third place playoff will be between Italy and Switzerland today at 2 o'clock and at quarter to 4, Germany will take on Austria. And I'm sure you'd agree, Greg, if it's anything to go by their, their group game yesterday morning, the opening game of the EPFA Four Nations 2023, 2-2, uh, probably the game of the tournament so far. If we can have uh, a similar matchup in the final, we're in for a treat as Volman fires it just wide of the right-hand post. I mean, how apt that the opening game of the Epsilon Four Nations 2023 will also now be recreated in the last game of the tournament. And if I tell you what, I know you have to take the level of opposition um, into consideration. Switzerland, not really. They are trying their hardest, but providing Austria with as stern a test as they faced yesterday. But the, the four players that are out there, especially the three attacking players, have actually played some really nice football, finding the gaps, and they've all made very strong cases to be starting that final. That's, yeah, also uh, worth noting that Jakob Schrieffel, the captain of the Austrian national side, will be back, certainly from suspension. Whether that means he goes immediately back into the starting four, we, are, we will soon find out. But um, I think Austria will have every expectation of, of, of securing the Epsilon Four Nations Championship. If they can re recreate that second half performance they had against Germany in the opening game yesterday, if they can have that across. You see what Germany have done, and we'll put the table up again shortly. We've had the regulation 20, so at half time we'll show you the standings and just the context of where Germany are, the goals they've scored, the points they've accrued. So it, it adds even more weight to how impressive that Austrian performance was, who would have been disappointed not to secure the three points as Songai capitalises off that loose pass and Ilyas Usic guides it over the line. It was probably going over. So Songai deprived of her another goal. She's already top she's got scorer. Six. Don't think she's going to mind. She's already got six. So that's confirmation. Austria eight. Switzerland nil. I feel for Lopez because I was like, <laughs> very strong contact. Great ball just up the court, but straight at Kalin the Songai. So, so Songai with six, Ilyas Usic with two of Austria's eight goals. She hadn't scored before this game, and now she's top of the scorers, scorer charts. How quickly things can change in power chair football. Absolutely. Usic now trying to capitalise on that loose ball from Christoph Lopez. And I'm really unfortunate Ricochet falls into the path of the woman in question. Carolina Songai, seven goals in the first half. We, are, we have to be breaking records here. 
Tonga has to be breaking all the records. Seven in one game. Obviously, I don't know how far you want to go back. Surely very little time left in this well, first half. 22 minutes have been played despite that 15 minutes you're seeing on your screens. I think Panico just needs an adjustment with his chair. Uh, this has happened many times across this tournament. Just being readjusted and sat up. Another pause in play. It's you can't be much. Let's give you the tape live standings while we wait for that. You'll see Austria's goal difference on plus nine. Five points from their three group games. I have, again, you must know that there is a lot of space for them to use. But I've been very impressed with how well they have used it. As referee Millie Bean has the whistle in her lips and blows the half time whistle. Um, the tone was set from the very first minute. Yeah, but well, uh, Carolina Songai hat trick within just over two minutes, arguably. I'm not sure we have the statistics to uh, either confirm or deny whether that is one of our fastest international hat tricks. Uh, but full credit to her, she got seven in that first half. Uh, Ilyas Usic with the other two um, but overall a dominant performance from Austria looking to prepare as best possible for that final fixture against Germany at quarter to four join myself and Greg shortly for the second half
Hello everyone and welcome back to the second half in this fixture between Austria and Switzerland. Currently separated by a wide margin of nine goals to zero. A few adjustments in that half-time break which we will uh, go into shortly. Just get proceedings underway. For all of those just tuning in, a win for Austria would see them progress to the final of the EPFA for Nations 2023. Second half underway. We'll get confirmation of those substitutions now for Austria. It looks like they've taken off the their captain, Ilias Usic. And in his place. Wait, well, immediately Gabriele Panico has an issue with his chair. It's frustrating. You would you question why this is done on the court and not by the side because it's a reoccurring issue. Um, I think it's an issue with the chair this time. Let's get confirmed confirmation. So there's the first substitution. Ilias Usic coming off. Henry Ziegner coming on. And the second substitution saw Michael Kiefler enter this final group game. Coming off number one, Arta Volman. Should have confirmation of that change now. Uh, did Austria put the ball out for Switzerland? Not sure. In which case, well, you would hope that the Swiss would just give the ball back to Austria as a sort of fair play thing. Manuel Ratz flies into the side of Panico's chair. Songai quick to capitalise on that loose ball. Looking to assert her dominance at the top of the goal scorer charts. Chance here for Del Plas to pressure Moritz Ziegner in the Austria goal, yet to have any major involvement in I this game. I don't think Moritz has touched the ball since coming on. On his international debut. Michael Kiefler to take the goal kick, fired all the way down the line, straight to Emmanuel Rat, who fires it back with the front of her bumper into Kiefler. Tries to control it, it falls to the path of Henry Ziegner, the very animated Austrian number 11. Plays with such passion. He really does, as does most of the Austrian side. Well, Ziegner. Typified by their coach, Lee, obviously. Absolutely. Ziegner keeps it in play. He's going to try and flick it back to current captain Michael Kiefler. Blocked by Manuel Ratz. Panico can't quite dispossess this Austrian attack. Ziegner. Very sensible move to fire it over to Carolina Songai and a really unfortunate own goal from Christoph Lopez. Austria 10, Switzerland 0. I think if Carolina Songai had been sat in reverse there, she could have had her seventh. Be a bit... When you're so front on, you've got time to, to explain. The winger, you want to be in reverse, facing the play, really. Give yourself more options because you can front bump back to your middle man or your second pivot, your goalkeeper. Or you can, as Henry Zegan now drives forward, three in the box, given away by Switzerland. Gabriel Panico, too eager to defend, as I was saying. If you play over, you play front bumpers back. You could still swing a player ninety, yeah, ninety degree spin. Or if you really want to, you can one eighty all the way around, get generate a lot of power. Whereas if you're facing forwards, your only real option is to side hit backwards. And while it can be effective, sometimes you struggle to get the power required. Indirect key flat over to Songai at the right hand post. Good ball. 
wasn't quite capitalised on. She apologises to her captain. Um, uh, I, d I just hope that despite the difficulties and the challenges that Switzerland have faced across the Earth for Four Nations 2023, they take positives from it. The, if, if nothing else, just the experience of, of competing on the international stage. Uh, I know how proud some of their players are to put on that Swiss jersey. So um, really difficult. They've conceded 29 goals, I think, in their, in their three group games with uh, 15 minutes still to play ahead of uh, what is looking like a third place playoff with Italy, who beat them 6-0 yesterday. Another factor to, to consider is they have, no, they have no strength in depth like that of Austria, Germany and Italy. Contact between the chairs of Panico and Henry Ziegner. It was Ziegner that swiped into the side of Panico. No malice, so no yellow card awarded. But Switzerland do get that free kick. Yeah, so Switzerland don't have uh, any substitutions at their disposal. Uh, obviously, horrible news, the sad passing of Christian Block. Uh, a few weeks after the for Cup 2022 last year must have been an incredibly challenging time for everyone associated with the Switzerland national side an incredibly talented player arguably their standout in that tournament uh, Del Plas just caught in that top left hand corner uh, and I don't think it was don't have to worry about three metres needed to avoid a two on one I think that was three centimetres uh, one thing you would say is Panico gets a sort of last warning for contact there. We've all been where Switzerland are at the minute. Everyone starts somewhere. Of course. It's one of those where you have to take those difficult early days suffering heavy defeats that they have um, and just using them as learning opportunities still enjoying representing your country playing football with your friends and that and yeah that that just uh, goes back to what i was saying earlier if you take nothing from this in terms from a performance perspective take the experience it must be incredible for some of these players to just travel experience new surroundings new people and once again the two switzerland players touching almost in Emmanuel Ratz and Del Plas advantage allowed by Millie Bean the two on one long in the making yes <laughs> 27 and a half minutes played Austria 10 Switzerland nil cushioned pass from the captain Michael Kiefer Ziegner back to Songai finds the gap once again I think that's her eighth goal of this game let's get she's confirmation starting, of that on your screens no please continue she's starting to build possibly an unassailable lead at the top we should be able to get you them goal them top goal scorer stand-ins should be updated if so she will have Eight goals, yes, because Usic got two and then an unfortunate Christoph Lopez own goal. So she's got a three-goal cushion uh, at the top currently. Uh, it will take some doing for uh, one, of the, one of the teams to surpass that. Obviously, uh, Italy face um, Switzerland in the third-place playoff game. So uh, you wonder if someone like Marco Ferraza... Uh, could jump up the leaderboard. Del Plas. Songai picks up the loose ball. Ziegner met by Panico. Contact from the oh, from the Switzerland number eight. Potentially a yellow card at the conclusion of this passage of play. I think he's been warned a few times. think she's going to allow it to continue surely any more and a card will be awarded she's having that word with Gabriella Panico now uh, 
And as suspected, no more final warning. Henry Ziegler now shaping up to take this kick in on the left-hand side. Moritz Ziegner very advanced as Songai fires it towards the left-hand post. Ziegner now uses the front of his chair to try and guide it goal-bound, but too close to Henry Ziegner in the process. Two on one awarded in favour of Switzerland. I believe that is Moritz Ziegler's first touch in the 20 or so minutes yeah, he has been on. That okay. substitution with Kiefer has just allowed him to be a bit more advanced in his positional play. Of course, we have got to be careful now. You can't just say Ziegner. There are two Ziegners on the court. I, I, I typically, uh, certainly on the international stage, try to uh, use the full names of players. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. Moritz Ziegner and Henry Ziegner. I'm not sure if they are related in any way. Manuel that will take this free kick for Switzerland. Try to find Gabriel Panico is marked by Henry Ziegner. That's better from Switzerland. Just to evade that press as best possible. Uh, get it as far into the Austrian half as they can. Henry Ziegner just ushering a few of his players into their positions. Fires it centrally. No one here to capitalise on that ball. But Carolina Songai eventually comes away with possession. Met by Emmanuel Ratz. Good battle between the two female players currently on the field of play. Ziegner, great pass to Songai. Tries to just direct her chair and angle it in such a fashion that it sends the shot goal bound and another pass straight as an arrow from Henry Ziegner into the vicinity he's impressed me he's a good player I, um, I think we're just as intrigued as many others and to see how they'll line up in that final against Germany later he certainly staked a claim within this game and when we've seen him throughout this tournament that he should be starting uh, you can't ignore the, the goals that Songai has scored in this game. Relevant of opposition uh, to be alert and be positioned well enough to capitalise uh, on the service from her teammates. We've seen players uh, from Germany and Italy not fare as well as the Austrian number four. So, uh, again, Jakob Schrieffel will be back in contention following uh, the conclusion of his suspension. So... Many things to consider. Likewise with Germany, who were unchanged in that earlier game against Italy. Uh, I'm not quite sure how they'll line up. Will they utilise and adopt the same uh, starting four as the game that, that saw them beat Italy? Or will they utilise uh, FA Kano Nanmis or Ludwig Leinweber, uh, Feli Fischer, just to mention three of their unused substitutes. One thing I will say about Austria, this is my first time this weekend watching them since I played against them in Finland four years ago. Yep. As you say, they didn't play as well as you thought they could last year in Geneva. They didn't, and I think they're the first ones to admit that, and they're showing that on this stage here this weekend, that they weren't quite up to the levels, whether uh, there was other factors at play. But if they came prepared to that tournament as they have to this one they could have really succeeded and no doubt would have qualified for the European Champions. Moritz Ziegner with an opportunity to score you can't see on your screens but Leo Vasily very animated I'm sure it would have erupted had the number five guided that over the line the pressure is still there trying desperately no doubt to score his first ever international goal Del Plas now trying to uh, relieve the pressure on the Switzerland defence. It remains Austria 11, Switzerland nil. Moritz Ziegner in space on the left-hand wing. Henry Ziegner not quite able to pick him out. Good, good strong play from Emmanuel Ratz to prevent Ziegner in the initial instance. Going to try and dribble out now. Grendel Dalplas has to vacate the space. 3v1 here. Could Switzerland register their first goal of the competition? 
Kiefler has something to say about that. He's going to try and counter for the leaders. Sorry, what I was going to say about Austria before um, was, yes, yeah, it's my first time seeing them in four years. The difference between then and now is night and day. The, the way they're trying to play football, passing it, they're a lot, a lot stronger side, and you can see a lot of promising play. I think, yeah, I think this uh, arena would erupt if Moritz Zigna could find the back of the Swiss net. Gwendo Del Plas very close to Gabriele Panico once again. Uh, two on one awarded in favour of Moritz Ziegner and Austria. We've got five minutes remaining. Um, I will give. I will give Switzerland credit. Right, this was nine nil at half time. We are fifteen minutes into the second half. It's eleven. No, uh, I, I agree. Uh, it looks like Winfried Zwanziger is readying himself to come back on for Austria. Probably Moritz Ziegner coming home. Probably Carolina. She, I mean, she's had guy. it. She's had enough goal. She's scored enough. So, Kiefler to take. Intercepted well by Panico. He's going to try and pressure. Michael Kiefler in the Austrian goal. I'd love to see Switzerland score now. Little more than a consolation with four minutes remaining, but it would mean so much to them. Moritz Ziegner. Trying to find that goal he so desperately craves. Van Ziga on. Songai. I think Austria currently fielding three PF2s. Any confirmation of that? If that is the case, that is an illegal change. Just need confirmation. I could be incorrect. But that is some no, certainly is, what is have, being contested. They do have three PF2s. If Moritz Ziegner is a PF2, they're not allowed to field uh, three at the same time. So they'll have to reverse that change. We haven't yet confirmed it on your screens. Uh, slight confusion in the I venue. Uh, Moritz Ziegner isn't classified internationally, I don't believe. And that means he does count as a PF2. But play will continue... So you will get confirmation of that change on your screens now. Winfried Zvanziga on. Carolina Shungai off. Incredibly impressive game for Songai. Eight goals. Strange, very strange uh, decision what? to allow three PF2s. We're just current, currently try in uh, discussion with the fourth official, Nordin Subovic. Uh, apparently, it doesn't matter for this competition, according to Nordin. <laughs> okay, it's it's. Uh, we have raised it. It's yeah. We have raised it. That's Argu all. That's arguably all disappointing because it needs to. It's not. Uh, uh, it's not legal in the sport of power chair football. Certainly on the international stage. I'm not sure you can call this a competitive tournament if you're not adhering to some of the basic rules and regulations of the sport. But let's throw hypotheticals out here now. Hypotheticals. Go on. What if so we turn around, we turn around after this game, and we say to whoever in charge, and say, "Look, Austria have just fielded three PF2s." Yeah. What but could Italy not launch a complaint? I want to bring our executive producer in on this, Mr. Alex Dowden. What are your thoughts? It's very strange, don't you think? Well, this is officially a friendly tournament. I was trying to pull up the tournament regulations so I could then give you a more concise answer. If you give me a couple of minutes, I'll see if I can come back to No it. problem. Just loop yourself in when you are ready. Panico. 
Oh. Zvan Ziegar over to Moritz Ziegner. Can he get that goal? Not at that time of asking. Well blocked by Emmanuel Rat. Wendell Del Plas putting pressure on Zvan Ziegar, who just occupies the position on this right hand wing. Henry Ziegner over to Moritz Ziegner. Open goal. Blocked well by the back wheel of Emmanuel Rat. 30 seconds or so remaining, plus any additional time that Millie Bean has accrued. There'll be a fair few bits. Austria bit. 11, Switzerland 0. With the uh, adjustments to Panago and Del Plas for Switzerland and the confusion there. As Ziegner, they both want the goal and it's a two on one. Both wanting to get that opportunity to score for their country, just a little bit over eager. So there's confirmation of the current standings. Worth noting, Austria had zero goal difference at the start of this game, obviously with an 11-0 scoreline. Two draws yesterday leading to that situation. It's also worth noting, Caroline the Songa started on zero goals before this game and she now has a three-goal lead at the top of the uh, yeah. top goal scorer standings. When it goes out of play, I'll try and bring you the top goal scorer what charts Mod no, can't quite get on the end of it no, unfortunate from the Austrian number five as you, as you can see eight goals for Carolina Stongai who's Austrian Should not Austrian. Germany not German yeah something's gone wrong with the graphics there I uh, I am now in and on the uh, stream as well gentlemen I can tell you that the tournament is classed as a development tournament so there's no classification in force partly because it's classific mm, okay. Partly because uh, some of the competing countries don't have classification in their home leagues, so there's some players without any classifications at all. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I know I want to discredit the competition. It was just uh, it's unfamiliar to see is all, but uh, as long as it falls within the regulations agreed by the competing nations, uh, then we shall continue. Flicked. Well, by Henry Ziegner, eventually via Zvan Ziegner and off the front of Emmanuel Rat's chair. We've had 42 minutes just about. Looks like, barring a late goal from Osher, it's going to be 11 0 confirmed as the final score. Advantage allowed by Millie Bean. Will be. Winfrey Dunn, you're trying to find an opportunity here. Just working it back and forth. I think Austria desperate for either Zanzviga or Moritz Ziegner to score. I think they're going they're to They're typically out of time. adopted as very defensive players, so with that nice cushion they've accrued throughout this first half, they're being a bit more experimental. Uh, 40 two and a half minutes gone surely only seconds remaining could turn into the Europa League final 15 minutes added on to a 12 minute so 12 minutes added on to a 15 minute half surely this will be the last attack yeah the whistle is in I think we're running up to 43 minutes trapped by Christoph Lopez Moritz Ziegner still pressuring away Desperately wanting that goal. Can he find it? Only seconds remaining. Manuel Ratz does well to just guide it out of play. Or well, certainly out of danger in the initial instance. He flicks it to her left. Tries to find the gap between the, t the stubborn wall. Who you absolutely right in saying, Greg, have been much better in this second half. Only conceding two, I believe. And Millie Bean blows the whistle for full time. It's going to end Austria nil, Switzerland. No. Austria 11, oh. Switzerland nil. That would turn up for the books. It certainly would. Um, that confirms our fixtures for this afternoon. You're absolutely right in saying At that. 2 o'clock in our placement game, it'll be Switzerland taking on Italy. And then at 3.45 European Central Summertime, it will be Germany taking on Austria for the right to call themselves the Ep for Four Nations 2023 champions. Ryan, uh, please.
player of the match, um, eight goal scorer. Uh, it's, it was hard to look past Carolina Songai. She just uh, was there to capitalise on all the chances that were put her way, um, not to do anyone else a discredit. But we saw, um, particularly, I think it was Johannes Koch for Germany and Simone Ranzato have a number of chances against Switzerland in their respective games. Uh, not quite as clinical as the Austrian number four. So, yep, she's the player of the match for me, current top goal scorer. Uh, let's see if she can add to that in the final against Germany. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Mr. Dowd in behind us. Hope you can join us at Danke, two, Ryan. two o'clock for Italy, who finished third against Switzerland, who finished fourth.